David Honeyboy Edwards is the last of the original Delta Blues guitarists still performing. This guy is a legend from a time of legends. Born in Shaw, Mississippi in 1915, he has lived the life of a true bluesman. I'm talking jumping freight trains, playing juke joints, and jamming for dimes on the corner. Now, Honeyboy has played with everybody. I'm talking Son House, Howlin' Wolf, Charlie Patton, and of course, the great Robert Johnson. Now, if you don't know Robert Johnson's story, you know you always hear about rock and rollers selling their soul to the devil for unlimited musical talents? Well, they say that story began with Robert Johnson, and he did that. In fact, they say Honey Boy was there the night that Robert Johnson died when he drank poison whiskey. I spoke to Honey Boy Edwards and bluesman Bobby Rush after a show at Hughes Room in Toronto. Number 12 at the station. Number two is still out on the road. You must have played a lot of shows in your life, man. When you <laughs> when you get up there and you're looking at that crowd, how does it feel to be playing, uh, you know, in in this time in the 2000s? Yeah, I, you know what I? I'm just used to a lot. Of, I play better in the bigger crowd than the little crowd. I make it no difference. Oh baby, you don't have to go. There's a yeah. couple times on stage tonight when you start, you get going, and when you were getting him going, where all of a sudden you look like you're 40 years old again and this light turns on and you're playing a song a different way. Do you get that, do you still get that feeling on stage? Yeah, you, you, you can play and um, if, if your instrument really is sounding good and everything is really uptight, your song will come to you just like this. And you can do them you, so good you can look through them just like water. That's right. That's right. Go on back home, baby, now. Try my same old routine. The next wave of guys like you, are they, are they there? No, I don't think, it's just too bad to say, I don't know many guys, because most guys in our age bracket don't want to be associated with the blues. They don't want to play the blues. You know, that's what I feel. Mean. Because you don't know them. They don't know the blues. They don't know the blues. The blues is, let me tell you, blues is, is not an easy thing to play. No. I like that. I like that. Like clown a mule. Train. When we was coming up, young people come out to see the music. Now the people, the young folks going to the rap stuff, yeah. and the older people, the, the age change. Yeah. But the groove, just like uh, Honey Bar said, it ain't really changed no place, and blues ain't going no place. Mm -hmm. The blues around. Someone said, well, Bobby Rush, you sang the blues maybe because, you, why you sang the blues? Because your woman left you? Not really. You don't have to sing the blue because your woman left you. You could have had a blue because she stayed too long. <laughs> Six one highway. Right about my baby door. But the blues will, will, will never go nowhere. But the, you change of the blues. You can play blues two or three different ways. You can play the low down dirty shame blues, then you play blues or the shuffle blues, up tempo blues, the boogie woogie blues, you know You're what right? I mean? So, right. so you, that's when blues is not going nowhere. You can do it too many different ways. Party boy, Edwards, my Mississippi friend. 